For my next theorem, I'm going to show that the distances of a point on a median of a triangle from the sides, including the median, are inversely proportional to those sides. So we'll start with our triangle. And as we're going to be talking about side lengths, um, I will constrain the lengths of the sides of the triangle. A, B, and C. Now, he's talking about a point on the median, so let's create uh, this median here. And we'll put a point onto it. Now, the theorem states that the distance from this point to this line as a ratio of the distance from this point to this line uh, is inversely proportional to A over C. In other words, let's see over A. Let's just check that out. So the perpendicular distance from E to BC, I can just find by distance E comma, and then the name of the line BC, the segment BC, not CB, it's in alphabetical order. Um, this is E to BC divided by distance between E and AB. And there we are, it's C over A. Now notice I did not specify where E was on this uh, this line. It's going to be true for any E. But what, what would a single one of these distances look like? Let's just put that one up there. Oh, see, it's a relatively complicated expression, but it's got the A's, the B's, and the C's, but it's got another parameter in here. It's D4. Now, where does that come from? Well, that in some sense is specifying where E is on that line. Um, but we don't know. The system has just stuck it in. It could easily be the distance of E from, you know, perfectly for this line or from this point, whatever. Um, if we want to control uh, how the individual expression looks, we need to put in another constraint. So let's do that. Put in the length D down that line, and now we can ask for that distance again. And we see it's coming in a little, little bit simpler with the D. And um, if we look at this one, well, notice that, that top line is symmetric except for the D. So we have, um, oh, sorry, I was looking at the wrong uh, E to AB. <laughs> of course, it is the same if I type the same thing in, but basically, notice that these two expressions almost identical, uh, except we have a C in there and an A in there. Hence, when you um, take the ratio, um, you end up with C over A, which is what we wanted to show. <laughs> 